my name is Margaret Treadwell and I'm the program coordinator for Friends of Cape Falcon Marine Reserve. And we're standing here at Cape Falcon Marine Reserve, which is between Manzanita and Arch Cape, Oregon, and is Oregon's northernmost marine reserve. And it includes this beautiful place, Short Sand Beach. Today we're going to take a look at some tide pools, which are some of the most interesting and biodiverse ecosystems in our ocean. So let's go. so biodiverse you might be asking well there's a wide variety of environmental conditions in a tide pool so the areas that are higher up get more time out of the water during the low tides because even the tides that aren't as low still expose those areas to air whereas the lower areas are only exposed during the lower low tides which is what we're having here today so at the top of this rock you'll see that there are barnacles and they're just little tiny white, they almost just look like a little incrustation, but they're actually animals. And when the water comes in, they open up and they have little appendages that filter the water for food. If you come down a little bit, you'll see these sea anemones and they're squishy. So if you touch them gently, they'll move a little bit, but they're able to be squishy because they spend less time out of the water. But you'll see that they also put shells on them to protect themselves, and that serves as camouflage, and then also as a way to prevent drying out while they're out of the water. But as you get lower on the rock, you'll see there's a lot more stuff. And that's because this area provides better conditions for living. So, if you look under this crazy brown algae, you'll see that there's a sea star So see how these waves come in and out even now at low tide? That's a lot of energy sweeping across the rocks in the tide pools. And so the animals and also the algae, like these guys, have to have special adaptations in order to stay put when the water is going back and forth like that. So the barnacles actually secrete something that is like cement that attaches them to the rock for their entire life. The snails that live in the tide pools are also really strong and they have kind of a, a foot on the bottom of their body that attaches them to the rocks and helps them stay put when the waves come back and forth. Sea stars have these tiny little suction cup feet all over the bottom of their body that keeps them attached. So they're able to move around. So you might be wondering why biodiversity is important. So biodiversity refers to the number of different kinds of organisms living in an area. And the more biodiverse a place is, the more complex the environment is, and it all builds on each other, and it creates a more resilient ecosystem. So you see here, we've got so many different types of algae and animals. We've got a sea star, there's a tiny chitin here, sea anemones. So all of these animals and plants are working together to keep this environment stable. And ocean biodiversity is really important because the ocean creates over half of the oxygen on Earth that we breathe. And it also is the foundation for the food web in the ocean and ultimately for all life on Earth. So when you're exploring tide pools, Remember to take special care to not disturb these special places and animals. So just touch them gently with a wet finger. Don't pry them off the rocks and walk on sand or bare rock when you're looking for things in the tide pools. And then as a reminder, in Cape Falcon Marine Reserve, all removal of animals and plants are prohibited. So just enjoy them here in their home, but don't take them home with you. 
and always be safe by keeping an eye on the ocean and knowing when the low tide is and when it's going to be coming back in. So exploring tide pools is a great way to get a taste of what lives in the ocean, but here on land. So enjoy exploring tide pools, do so safely, treat the animals gently, and um, just enjoy this amazing environment that we have here on the Oregon coast. Thanks.